My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, I'm here to meet Mercer Frey at Snowvale's Sanctum. Going to the college, Use your smarts. Like I'm supposed to figure out which college he meant. Mm, looks like we've already had a casualty. And there's Mercer Frey. Bandit. More than likely, you'll have to remain out here. Good. You're finally here. I've scouted the ruins, and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. You saw her? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. Hmm, so that was you that killed the horse. And you want me to lead. I'm sorry, I was under the impression I was in charge. You're leading and I'm following. Does that seem clear to you? It doesn't. Yeah, right, let's go. Keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Well, that is something that I could possibly do. How did Gallus die? Twenty-five years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. So Carlia took on both of you alone. Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins, and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. Hmm, poison is a very popular tool. And Gallus? The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruin. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. And what happened after Gallus died? The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus' former position as Guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men and the Ratway became a bloodbath. And you were part of this. I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the Guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. And what of Carlia? The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septum and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. Is 
isn't murder, Dark Brotherhood territory. You all seem to be so squeamish about killing. I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. Do you? If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. I see. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. Tell me about Carlia. She was a stubborn Dunmer. She always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. So, they had a relationship. If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. What was he thinking? Why did she kill him? Greed? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws her last breath. Somehow, your words ring hollow and are not very convincing. But we'll see. Have your weapon at the ready. I'm certain Carlia knows we're here. All right. Can we go now, or are you going to just stand here with your arms crossed? All right, bandit. Now you can remain out here. Watch our horses and make sure no one else comes around and slits its throat. This man certainly likes to make me wait. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. This one doesn't look too difficult. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. Not a lot of skill. That should do it. Should it now? Okay, good. The bandit followed my instruction. Stention. This is a tomb, isn't it? Slow, aren't you, Mer Mercer? And what does this do? Aha. There's little time for talk. What do you want? I'm not trying to talk. the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Looks like Carlia reset all of the traps. Watch out for the spike, he says. All right. If 
I didn't know better, I'd say you did that on purpose. Come on. This better be important. You know, Mercer, I have an arrow with your name on it. Two more of them ahead. A death shout almost cost me my life. Look at this. Marked for death. Ah. 
there's more, I'm sure you hear the breathing. Destroy them or bring them out into the hallway where I can kill them. <laughs> I was wondering if it could kill you. This way. Bone chimes. Clever. Rigged to wake the drogger, I bet. Don't blunder into any of them. Well, they're already dead. There's nothing to alert. about not blundering into them and you keep setting them off. Still more. a lot of drogger. <laughs> hmm, an ebony sword.
just in case anyone was home. It seems as though there should have been something in here. It must have been destroyed by the fire. I take it you were take talking about the Draugr and not me. Carlia always was a nimble minx. Slipping past these Draugr must have been child's play for her. All right, here we go. Yes, yes, what is it now? things would have destroyed me with their fire breath. Hmm. An ebony great sword. Let's see about selling that. Maybe even using it.
You know, you're getting a free ride, Mercer. Keep stopping. Well, why don't you go ahead and I follow you if you're not happy with my progress? We're on the right track. She's been through here as well. with less of your speeches and more action. Lots of ebony weapons, but they're too heavy for me to carry. And I don't have Bandit here to give them to him. skill book. Hmm, that's an interesting uh, bit of information about light armor. I'll have to apply it. Be on guard. I don't think that's the last of them.
took him long enough to come out. And let's see, what is this glowing? These words. This better be important. Well, I can't read it. And apparently you can't either, so let's go. This is interesting. Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness. Exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carly is close, I'm certain. Now let's get moving. After you, Mercer, I insist. What is it? I want you to go ahead. If you see Carlia, don't hesitate. Kill her. This better be important. Yes, you need to go ahead. Let's get going. I want her head on my mantle. I doubt that seriously. All right, it sounds like you're not going to budge. Let's go. State and funding haunting room metery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence, but I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. <laughs> well, that was a nice little nap I had. Easy, easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? I feel fine, considering that I'm immune to poison. So, you shot me. 
No, I saved your life. Ah. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I don't have a heartbeat. So your poison did nothing. So why did you even attempt to save me? My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. <laughs> you really think that I'm in your debt? But no. You didn't even come close to saving me. I knew you were in that cavern from the moment I opened that door. Oh, there he is. The bandit. So, anyhow, you should have so you should have shot Mercer instead. I promise you, the thought crossed my mind. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. Oh. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. A year to make poison? Are you incompetent? Don't make me laugh. Why capture Mercer alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. Then how will you prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well, what's it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Well, perhaps it can be translated. Enther? Gallus' friend at the College of Winterhold? Of course. The only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. Identity? There's that word again. Nightingale. What are you people up to? There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. no one else especially you good day there isn't much time what is it all right come on let's go bandit <clears throat> if I'm feeling up to it we'll head to winter hole 